In this video, we're going to install the PIXA side plate and AB9 audio adapter. To start, we will remove this cover plate from the camera body, and this is a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench. Okay, just pull this plastic cover plate off. Okay, now uh, if you have the side plate, you can just screw this on. There's some locating tabs that fit in there nicely. Uh, but if we have the AB9, we can first install our cables and then we'll route them behind our side plate. So the uh, mini XLR goes in the front here. Just click that in. And then the 3.5 millimeter plug goes in the back on the top here. Okay. Now we will route these cables through the channels that they correspond to. And we want the audio adapter to end up in this position. So one thing we can do is actually screw this into the plate before we start. We'll use a four millimeter Allen wrench and just screw this down. Okay, now these cables have different routing paths. So we're gonna start by uh, going out the top for our 3.5 millimeter cable. So this is going to make a turn here, come up and we'll kind of zigzag over into this area and we'll loop around one time. And actually unplug this just to let the cable turn a bit easier. Okay, and now we can check our length for that. That's good. Okay, so you can see here we made that turn. We did one loop around uh, this center circle and then continued out the path there. Now on our other cable, this one follows the lower path. Just tuck that in. And then we can kind of just put one twist in here into this pocket area, uh, and that uh, will take up some of this extra slack. So we know we want to be pretty close to the edge here on this cable end, and then we'll just twist and tuck the rest of that cable into the back of the side plate there. So you can see here, we're going down this path, looped around, come back out, uh, and then the same over here. So we can carefully flip this over and we don't want to pinch any cables. So we'll use extra caution here and we can just kind of wiggle this, make sure that the metal is contacting the metal on the camera body without any rubber cable in between. That feels good. Looks good. There's still movement here. Still got movement here. Now we can tighten these two screws down using a four millimeter Allen wrench. If you feel any resistance to the plate uh, getting snug or if it feels like a bit of a squish or something like that, uh, stop and check that your cables are not being pinched. Okay, that looks great. Now let's go to the audio menu in the camera. And uh, this is the audio menu. And as the camera ships, uh, this is the default and these are the internal microphones. So we'll toggle over to the XLR1 mic and then we'll toggle this over to 3.5 millimeter mono mic, which is typical to what you'd plug into an XLR uh, adapter like this one. You'd have a balanced microphone. Uh, if you, for some reason, want to um, run two channels into channel two and choose left and right, you can do that. Uh, it's 3.5 millimeter right or left, and make sure you choose mic. So now we can set the mic level here and the mic level on the XLR separately. And then phantom power is this switch here for the XLR mic one.